following is a special presentation of ESPN on ABC. Summer in New England means different things to many people. Some time by the ocean relaxing on the beach, a stroll through history, or a trip to the mountains where it's cool and quiet. For sports fans, summer in New England means baseball at Fenway. No Red Sox! <laughs> and NASCAR in New Hampshire. 75 miles north of Boston near the capital at Concord sits New Hampshire Motor Speedway, where the fans are here to see their boys of summer, the stars of NASCAR. Ten. ESPN welcomes you to NASCAR Countdown. Today, the NASCAR Nationwide Series runs 200 laps on New Hampshire's Magic Mile. Our coverage presented by CeCe's Pizza. These NASCAR fans are looking for a ray of sunshine in what's been a brutal start to the summer. Rain 23 of 27 days in June around here. And while there's a chance of showers in the forecast today, the track is dry now. The drivers are gathering for introductions. Which one of them will win and how? We begin finding out shortly. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, please rise and remove your hats as the Salem High School Falcon Color Guard presents our nation's colors in honor of Salem High graduate and former Color Guard Commander Sergeant Edmund Lowe, who was killed in combat in Iraq two weeks ago. Please remain standing as President and Chief Executive Officer of Motor Racing Outreach, Reverend Billy E. Malden, offers today's invocation. Let us pray. Gracious God and Heavenly Father, we thank you for this beautiful day here at New Hampshire. We ask that you would watch over us and keep these drivers, competitors, officials. Give us a safe day, Father, for the fans and all that are here in attendance. We thank you for all that have worked hard to make this event possible, sponsors, track staff. Lord, bless them. We ask that your peace and your presence would be with us all this day. In Christ's name I pray. Amen. Here to perform our national anthem, please welcome Geraldine Sawyer. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleam, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streamed and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the So 22 races, 22 faces. Which one of these faces will be smiling most by being in victory lane at the end of 200 laps? That's a good guy. I think it's going to be that guy starting up front. I think it's that guy right I there. I think it's that young man right there. Joey Logano. We'll find out. The engines fire in New Hampshire next. Race fans, it's time for the most famous words in motorsports. Here to give the command, please welcome Camping World Regional Vice President Kevin Bostrom. Hey, is everybody ready? On behalf of Camping World and all its team members, gentlemen, start your engines. 
Fired up. All right, buddy, fired up. Yep, 10-4. This is good. Everything's on. 10-4, right, buddy. Thank you. What uh, fans do you want, Rob? You got to start with all the fans up. What you doing? So as the engines have come to life, we've got our onboard camera with Elliot Sadler. He'll be our in-race reporter today. We'll talk to him when we come back. If you want your question answered, possibly during the race, all you have to do is log on to ESPN.com and search Ask the Driver. So stay with us. We're about to go green flag racing here in New England. We're in New Hampshire. You're watching ESPN on ABC. Well, and just in case you weren't with us earlier, we'll show you who won the poll. It is for the third race in a row, his sixth of his career, Joey Logano, and what would be his home track, just a three-hour drive from his hometown of Middletown, Connecticut, as he will be on point. The first man to do that since Jeff Gordon in the series did it back in 1992. Three straight poles. All right, across the top of the screen, you'll get the rest of the starting field as uh, we'll put them in right across the very top, up in those puffy clouds that we hope do not turn dark. And there you see Joey Logano with Carl Edwards right alongside. Let's uh, get a chance to talk to our in-race reporter, Elliot Sadler. DJ? Hey, Elliot, Dale Jarrett, the ESPN. You have a copy? Yes, sir. Live and clear. Hey, Elliot, our theme today has been kind of how difficult this racetrack is to drive for a driver and the 22 different winner in 22 races. My question is, do you find this racetrack to be really difficult and what is difficult about it? And can you be number 23? Well, we sure are going to try to be number 13, you know, number 23. It's just a slick, slick racetrack, and you fight so many different things uh, going throughout the corner. You want to have good stability on entry. You wanted to get it to turn good through the center, free rolling, but then you got to have great forward bite off, and it's hard to get all three of those things to be 100% all the way through the corner. And I think that's why you see so many different winners here. It seems like the track gets a little bit slicker each and every year, so your setups change a little bit. Goodyear brings us different tires, so you kind of have to adjust with it. So uh, we've made a few adjustments. I got really loose at qualifying. Didn't uh, do as good as I wanted to do, but 200 laps. If you get a good car here, you can make the passes, make your way to the front. All right, Elliot, our second question comes from our ESPN mailbag, and Tom from Pittsburgh wants to know, you haven't run a nationwide race since 2008. How big an adjustment is it to go back to these cars? It was a big adjustment for me, um, you know, and I think that's why we didn't qualify like we should. I just got out the cup car. These things drive so much different, you know, a lot less horsepower. You know, you're sitting down on the springs instead of sitting down on the bump stops. So, um, and we didn't get a lot of practice yesterday. So, uh, limited, very limited time in the car, but just proud of my guys, everybody, uh, Braun Racing. I want to thank them for giving me the opportunity uh, to come over here and drive the auto value car. And maybe we'll go try to give it the best race we can. Hopefully we'll have a good one. All right, Elliot, have a great race. Thanks for talking with us. And now Andy's going to talk to your crew chief, Stuart Cooper. Hey, Stuart, Andy Petrie in the booth. You got us? Got you, Andy. Go ahead. Hey, Stuart, you guys had a fast car in practice but didn't get the qualifying run you were looking for. What do you have to do down there today to get that car up front? Well, the biggest thing to start this thing out, we just got to make sure our car is where, you know, where it needs to be. Um, track positions, everything here. So we're going to have to do something. Hopefully the first part of the race here we can uh, – you know, just work on the balance and get it driving good and then do some strategy here at the end. Okay, Stuart. Well, good luck with that and hope you guys come home good. Thank you. Well, we have seven other onboards besides Thanks, the one with Elliot Sadler and it is Mike Bliss and Justin Allgaier. Butler, Harvick, Leffler, Dawn, and Keselowski as we are getting ready to go back to green. And uh, this broadcast is available in Spanish by activating your SAP button presented by ESPN Deportes. 